Good evening, I am Modi Apparatus, and welcome back to Hellsian 6 for Episode 7. Uh, we have a bit of an issue on our hands. We have this powerful Elder Smasher heading to one of our areas here, our uh, fuel depot here, our secondary fuel depot. And our last, our, I mean, this is our backup fuel depot, but we don't want to lose it uh, at all. Um, it will be a very, 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 very tough fight. We might not all make it out of there alive, because this... Uh, Elder Smasher does some serious damage. So I guess the goal will be to try to disable him as fast as possible and keep him disabled while we take out the Elder Clipper and then we can turn our attention to him and healing and that kind of thing. And then we also have to take care of the Elder Clipper and Aberrant and Basher up here. These guys won't be a problem compared to this one. This is the big fight. Luckily it's three on two, but that does not matter if this guy can ice us in one or two shots. So. I'm a little nervous. We've faced tier 2, level 2 ships before, but not any cruel level 2 ships. And these guys are, you know, a lot tougher than the pirates and that kind of thing. But I do think we need to take care of him first before we go after Anorak Zeb, for instance. I would love to get to, uh, I'd love to get to tier 2 ships this episode. And we need a hundred, uh, we need a hundred more materials in order to do that. If we win this fight, we probably will have that much. But we have to win the fight, and that's what I'm a little nervous about. So, we're in great shape. We have so many crew, we have so much dark matter, we're so close to some tier 2 ships. But, uh, yeah, I'm not uh, looking forward to that battle. I don't want to close the portal and leave him stranded out here, because he'll probably take the thing out before we get a chance to, to kill him. So, let's send the, let's send the fleet. We gotta do it. Send the fleet. Can't do much about it. We got it. Got to do it. We got to do it. There's no options here. We have uh, disable here. We have. Do we have another ship disable? So we have a shock mine and we have the stasis lock. I think between the two of those, we can lock them down for at least four turns total. Assuming we don't uh, let him let him come out of that ship disabled by the time that time we uh, hit him with it a second time. And then we gotta really get rid of that that vanguard before too, it's too long here. Nothing to be done for it, we gotta do it. Distress to receive, Hulse, Taylor, fuel refinery. Acknowledged. Don't worry, backup's coming in. Or is it? Uh, we've been attacked by pirates. Space pirate, independent bands of space pirates hold a little sway in the Federation space, but the Helsium sector is teeming with them. Time to fix that. Please don't be too difficult. Well, geez, you picked the wrong guy to mess with. A little warm up here. Let's show you how we do this. You will not have a chance to move. Oh, he disabled, but he's moving. Okay, never mind. Good luck. Good luck to you. All right. Took a little damage there. 30, 30 points. Still, 35 points. A little warm up. Gained Pirate Hater. I don't like that one bit. No, sir. Damage bonus versus pirates. Awesome. It's a little nice bonus uh, because we fight pirates a lot, actually. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is try to disable this ship. Knock him down if we can. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is engines down this guy. And or weapons disruption as well. This one. Please get them both. Nice, that actually helps a lot, and then we're going to, uh, mm, hit him up with the drone swarm? Oh, let's wait until one of them's vulnerable, actually. Uh, let's hit him with this for now. And then, uh, let's get some defensive armor on here. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's siphon. It says 80. Exploits weapons disruption. I'm gonna do a crew panic on him, actually. There we go. Alright, now... He's at he's vulnerable. I'm thinking drone swarm. We only get one chance at this, though. Does 1726 damage max. Otherwise, we exploit that... Actually, exploiting the engines down might be a great idea. That's gonna do maybe... Two or three hundred damage. 166. Okay, a little lower than I thought it would be. 
Um, let's do this. Exploits vulnerable. And this will get some decent damage over time on him. I'm worried about what this guy's gonna do. Now he's now he can't be he's resistant to ship disable now, so we're not gonna be able to disable him again. I probably should have disabled him last turn before he got that. Uh You know what we'll do is Well, let's first of all hmm, do I wanna finish this guy off? I kinda should finish him off, but I'm thinking we can we can disable him with his move, and then we can focus our attention on him. I'm gonna siphon, actually. It's not going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, and then what I want to do is ship disable on him. And then let the damage over time take care of him, actually. Because it should. It should. And the ship is disabled for two turns then. Okay. Let's count on that happening. Let's bring the engines down on this guy. Oh my god, he's got so much health. Uh, yep, adaptive armor. For sure, get a little more defense. And heal up a little bit. Brings us to 100% for both. Nope, not quite. Oh, look at all that damage this did! 298! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This guy could take us out with one shot. Uh, repair. For her. Yeah, for him, rather. Sorry. Sorry again. Always do. Always do it. Um, we're ready for this again. Let's do this again. Weapons disruption, hopefully. Knock some of the damage off of there. Alright, that's good. There we go. Okay, that worked out like I wanted it to. Um, I guess we exploit the weapons disruption. Yeah, I guess we gotta, gotta do it. 185, okay, we're getting there. Let's get that hull breached. Resisted the vulnerable, but that's fine. Let's get uh, 150 base damage over four rounds, okay? Let's keep the damage on. All right, he's not ready for a stasis lock again yet, but he could do a crew panic. Oh my God, please don't kill us. That was, that was, that could've been worse. Uh, we're not gonna use the drone swarm because it doesn't do well. It does more damage than this would. This exploits engines down though, which is about to fall off. So let's do it. 163. Okay. Let's keep the heat out of the engines down. We get through this. I'll be impressed. Uh, his his uh, he's still not ready for a ship disable yet. Um, let's see. Keep that crew panicked. That's some pretty decent damage there. Just, just like uh, almost uh, 100 for that turn. He's still got a couple more here. Um, let's get this back on again. Get some resistance. 10% redensed all types of damage. Nice. That's good. Uh, deconstruct. That hull breach is about to fall off. Let's try this. It inflicts Drone Swarm, which it's being deconstructed, takes 600% base damage over four rounds. Yeah, that's nice. That is a nice one. Um, he's ready for an engine's down, or a, uh, ship disable again now, too. Let's get those engines down, get those weapons disrupted. Here he comes. Oh, God, okay, a lot of damage there. Uh, ready for this, though. There we go. Stasis lock. Weapon systems disrupted. Oh, exploited. There we go. This is a good shot. All right. Um, no, we're just gonna wait for, I think we're just harassed now at this point. It's gotta wear him down. Oh, look at that damage! Okay, but it worked out pretty nicely there. Look at that reward, too. Holy cow, alright. Uh, I'm beginning to understand them much better now. Damage resistance versus cruel 5%, awesome! That's fantastic. Ahmed is gonna be awesome here. Transfer, I guess we'll transfer the fuel. Leave the system, okay. Uh, acknowledged. He's the only one though, okay. Well, let's return home for now. And then we'll send the guys up to take care of these guys. And, um... 
Meanwhile, let's uh, let's start ship construction. Actually, no, let's start, let's start room. Let's start the room construction on uh, our Terran Starship Hangar Tier Two. Seven days. All right, that's fine. Look how much. Hmm, that's good stuff. That is really good stuff. Okay, so seven days remaining for that. For the next hangar. Um, and that book ends kind of nicely with this one. They're not near each other at all. That works. Uh, what else do we want to do here? Do we want to send the runabout out for uh, some stuff? Let's send the runabout out and uh, see what he can do. Pick up the fuel. And then from there, we're going to send him... Pick up the people. That was not quite full yet. Up here is where it's going to fill up the, the quickest, I think. Well, let's have him go to get the people up there. If he doesn't get killed by something flying at him, let's just keep an eye on that. Alright. Our ships should be ready to go. Let's see. Prepare it up. Two only. Fantastic. 11 victories. 17 victories. Yeah, that's a, that's a real good ship. Uh, we want to get the point for somebody here. Was it... Uh, ah, not here. Yes. Uh, what do we want to do with you? He's at tier 5 now. Or level 5, rather. He can do... Stasis Lock 2. Which does 60% damage compared to 50% damage and better... Well, it's the same disable rate, but it's more damage. I don't think we need to improve that one necessarily um, for the extra damage. The damage is not what it's about. Unless it's... Uh... No, nope, I'm not going to give you more turns on that. Otherwise, the energy extractor is going to do 10% more energy extracted. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Spin maneuver does more damage. Drop isotopes. Oh, this is this is ground combat. Hmm. Do I want to do some ground combat stuff? Mass paranoia. Sixty percent damage. Sonic blast two maybe for some ground combat. Might be nice to have somebody that's a little more improved there. None of these are really making sense to me. One hundred twenty percent for all damage, all enemies. That might not that might not be bad actually. Siphoning dark matter does not make a whole lot of sense to me. Stasis Lock 2 does not make a whole lot of sense to me. I think it's all going to be about the Psionic Blast here for now. So, uh, 110% damage, Psionic Blast 2. Select. Alright. Next. Oh, we have something coming incoming here. Let's just wait a minute then. This Lar fleet has entered our sector, sir. They're hailing us, but first they took up artillery position. Telling. Yanthu supporting Terran dogs will hand over that station immediately. Inquire as to why they want the station. Ask about this Lar Persergur Persargade Rebellion? Yeah, sure. Ever since taking power, this Lar Xanthu Directorate has oppressed our genetic lineage. Now it is the Psaren's turn to conquer. Now you will give in to our demands, or we will bombard your living quarters until all your crew members, tiny insect like, begin. tiny insect like. Begin spewing out of the fissure we create. Uh, reject the mans. Sorry, guys. Um, send fleet. Yep. Nope. New fleet. Got to deal with these guys first. Unfortunately, our first battle with the Zlar, though. Too interesting. All right, Zlar geneticist Zlar Xanthu are vicious, determined, and wildly oversensitive people. Something's happened to set these ones against you. Start combat. Sorry, guys. Has to be done. They're not that powerful, though. Uh, let's lock down the big one, and we'll take care of the small one. These are Mark Two and Three, though. Holy cow! Uh, weak ships, but they might be they might be tough, actually. Oh, they resisted the stasis lock. Okay, good to know. Um, let's take care of the little one then first. Only sixty-eight damage. I guess that's, that's normal for that one. Uh, sensors our engines down. 
Okay. It only 83 damage. Okay, I don't know what I was worried about there. Pathetic. Yeah. Well said. Um, hit him with some of this. And then finally knock him out with... Eh, first let's do this. Drone Storm seems to be pretty powerful against that last enemy. Uh, and then we're gonna go... This one. That should take care of him pretty easily. Laser Strike, 162, that's not nothing. 88. Maybe a little bit of armor. This guy's not long for the world here. I might wait on him and start taking taking care of this guy. Yep, there it is. That's why I did that. Now we get an extra damage against him. We start wearing him down. Evasion, nice. Uh, it might be time to repair you up actually a little bit. How much is that gonna do? All right. Yeah, and it's gonna repair some more over time too, I think. Cool. Uh, let's see. Get those engines offline. Oh, he resisted it. What does he got here? Blood rage. 50% damage is a large channel their rage at being at being damaged into increased damage. Oh boy. Um, that's not great. Wish we had the disable now. Well, we might still. Um, let's do this here for right now. Resisted it. Okay, let's do this. Ship disable now. Resisted it. Shoot. Oh, blood wrath. Okay. We don't have anything that really can do enough damage to him. Let's try this. Let's try this. Lock him down, please. Please lock him down. Ship disable. Awesome. And dead. Got kind of lucky there that he didn't do any damage to us, and we're actually in a great position to just take this ship back out and uh, send it against the cruel up there. We don't need to wait on... I don't think we need to wait on... Uh, let's bring him home, actually, with the people. Um, I don't think we need to wait on the... Actually, let's send him over here and get these people. Uh, let's send the crew... Send the fleet over to this portal here and see if we can close it down. They are actually aren't going to be a problem. Um, we don't need to wait for the... Leave system. Send the fleet. We don't need to wait for the tier 2 ships for this guy, at least. He won't be an issue. Oh, wait, no, that was wrong. What are you doing? That's not where you're supposed to go. You idiot. Run away. Retreat. You're dead. You are a dead man. A piloting error. Defeated. Yeah, alright. Uh, I think they're kind of cute, actually. Damage bonus versus cruel. Oh, well, we got him. Let's bring him home. Okay, good. He's coming home. Oh my god. What are we... What, what happened there? What were you thinking? Trying to take on the entire cruel army yourself. Let the professionals handle this, buddy. Don't let the skiff go do anything. Alright, um... I think last time we did this, we disabled him right away, and then attacked him, mostly. Hopefully he doesn't resist it. Ah, oh, he did. Shoot. Well, if it was, if it's gonna resist the first one, maybe it won't resist the second one. There we go. And then we'll take engines offline on this guy. Resist it, of course. He does some decent damage. Um, let's not let's not pull any punches here. I was gonna say let's we can we can use that stuff up even if it's gonna cool down on it. Cause this is gonna be a long fight, so strap in. Not that long a fight, but seriously, it's gonna it's gonna be a couple rounds here at least. Especially when they start resisting stuff right off the bat. Uh, this might be a good time to use this to the full advantage. 
Because it's going to get all of them then. And they all have Drone Swarm now. And he's nearly down. So let's take this on. I think next turn. Holy cow. That was a lot of damage. Oh, he got healed. Um, I think we'll do this and try to siphon some energy and uh, repairs off of this guy if we can. Heal up a little bit. And we're going to use the drone heal on, on this guy when we're done here. Knock him down. And stay down. Sizer beam? Yeah. This might work. 54 only, okay. Uh, yeah, let's get this repaired up. Fifty-five only, but still better than nothing. Um, doesn't really matter. Anything's gonna kill him. And he's got no damage over time right now, so we got to do something right away. All right, so now we got this guy. He can be disabled again once those are charged up again. Uh, and he looks like he's ready. Let's try it. That's a good thing you disabled. Okay, good. Uh, let's heal back up again here. Brings you nearly full. Uh, let's try this. Hull breach is good. Honor ability exploited. It's 116 damage per turn, it looks like, right now. Uh, crew panic. Try that. Disruptor beam. Uh, he's resistant to disable now. His hull's already breached. Let's try this. This is regular attack. And we'll make sure it goes down next turn. I think with everything doing damage over time here, he's gonna be just fine. Yep. And this guy's pretty weakened already. And we didn't even attack him really yet. That's fantastic. Heal himself up, that's fine. Uh, we're prepared for that. Let's do this. Disable. Nice. Okay. And, uh, yeah, no one even need to decipher anything, or, uh, siphon anything, because her health's 100% right now. Wow, this is a pretty good battle. Fantastic. All right, another portal closed. I'm worried about when the next shoe's gonna drop. It's gonna be something stupid like losing a ship like that, the the, the skiff again. It sees that the portal the fleet at their fleet's location dissipated as soon as we destroyed the cruel contingent. All right, so now we are ready for some new ships. Legendary officer for four evasion. Oh my gosh, legendary for uh, for the Remington as well, and the deflector insight. Oh good, resistance versus vulnerable. Crew retrieved. Awesome. All right, let's play it forward here. Yes, show location, please. And not that we're going to do any of this stuff right now, but we can actually make the ships now. So ship construction, let's get back in here. What are we going to replace first? Wait a second. Where are our new ships? Ah, we have to research them here first. Okay. Um, do we do engineering starship crusader or guardian? This one's locked, can't get to it, so we can do the Crusader, which is the the extended version of the Knight. The research is pretty cheap here, I think we just research them. Um, and tactical ship that. The Ronin. Okay, now we can make these ships. So we have the Crusader for a thousand has Flak Barrage, Deconstruct, Shock Mine, and adds on Shield Disruptor, which does 54 max damage, but inflicts Vulnerable, which is nice. The Sorcerer, which adds on Systems Overload. Ah, there we go. No, we want this one for sure. I think this is the first one we make. This is the first one we make, the Sorcerer, because we want that Systems Overload. 
along with everything else we have here. That's going to be a great combination. All right, we're doing it. Six days to build it. 90 crew. Totally worth it. Build the ship. And our only available officers that command that ship. Yes, that's fine. All right, five days. Back to the star map, and by the time our ship gets home, a little bit of that has passed. Sure, the Corzant Delegate is appearing with us. Uh, Terran friends, I have terrible news for you. Contingent of confused Corzant youths have broken off from the consensus and have constructed a kind of perverse ideology that demands they gain control of your station. We've attempted to reason with them, but they've proven quite immovable. Wait, since when did Corzant disagree? Um, it is a new development. I would speak of it, but the answer to the question is currently a highly, highly guarded secret. I'm sure you understand. You just go to warn us in a manner, yes. And to request that if you do fight them, at least try to convince them of their errors, the errors of their ways. If they bombard our station, they'll get nothing but gunfire back at them. We'll try, okay, we'll try, we'll try. Thank you, Terran, do your best is all we ask. Alright, well, they're probably gonna blame us for this when they show up at our doorstep. Uh, but hopefully they'll be fighting a tier 2 ship by that time. Oh, here they come. Uh, how many more days is this gonna take us? Four days. They're gonna be here before that. Uh, it's not a wise decision to move at this point, I think. Oh boy, a couple tier, a tier three ship, a tier two ship, and a tier one ship. Oh boy. Well, I think we first we would, we would take out the the stronger tier two, tier three ship. So it's gonna do a lot of damage, and it's still weaker than all the others. So we'll do that one first. And we gotta we gotta try to reason with them first though before they uh we attack them. But uh, I think we'll actually leave that till next time. Next time we should have our brand new ship finally being constructed. And we'll have our first encounter with the Corazon fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot of action, a lot of danger. Uh, a lot of misplaced uh, flying from our weird runabout guy. He's going to take on the entire crew army himself. And uh, yeah, that did not work out in our favor, but I'm glad he got away. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time for more Halcyon 6. Have a good night.